More than 100 people have been rescued after being trapped on the roof of a burning skyscraper in Hong Kong. The fire broke out in a utility room on a lower level of the World Trade Center in the Causeway Bay shopping district before spreading to bamboo scaffolding on the building, which was undergoing restorations. 13 people have been taken to hospital for treatment. The BBC's Martin Yip was at the scene of the fire in Hong Kong. So this building is where all the drama took place. The fire brigade spent around four hours to put everything under control, put out the flame. Some 1,300 people were evacuated. It's under renovation. It's built in the 1970s. It's a building that stands on the uh, Hong Kong Island Harbour front overlooking the famous Victoria Harbour and the Scottish Loom Gun. According to police, some 300 people were initially trapped on the rooftop, but fire brigade spent little time to bring up a ladder and bring in firefighters to lead them to safety. Extremely frightening. Well, the BBC's Danny Vincent is in Hong Kong, joins us live now. Danny, welcome to you. Um, and more details emerging about how this fire started. That's right. According to the police, they say that this fire started from an electrical uh, room fire uh, inside this 38-storey building. After that fire began, it was said to have spread up the bamboo scaffolding of the building. The building was uh, experiencing uh, renovation at the time. Now, it seems to be that um, the, the, the scaffolding spread, spread the fire. It meant that the blaze lasted for many hours. And I think the most striking thing uh, about the events today was that um, a, a few hundred people essentially didn't try to go down to escape uh, the fire. Instead, they went up onto the roof. And uh, since this afternoon, we've been seeing pictures and videos on social media of, yeah, of dozens uh, of people stranded on a roof top waiting for uh, firefighters to come to rescue them. Now, we know that everyone has been evacuated from the building. Uh, a number of, of people have, have been injured. There's various injuries and reports at least of one individual has, has gone to um, hospital uh, and they are having their injuries uh, treated. Um, but there were quite terrifying scenes uh, that, that we saw today, uh, high levels of concern because hundreds of people were stuck on the top of a building uh, essentially when it was ablaze. Okay, Danny Vincent for now, thank you.